What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Soon talking about Chucky TV series in this video here again today talking about season two. Some new casting announcement came out yesterday and it was confirmed that Devin Sawa would be returning in the upcoming season of Chucky that's going to be expected to premiere later this fall on the USA Sci-Fi Network. And we know in the original season he starred as Logan and Lucas Wheeler, the father and uncle to Junior and Devin. So in this exclusive, I guess, from Entertainment Weekly, because that's the article I picked this up from, and I saw Don Mancini put out a tweet. I also saw Devin take over the Chucky Twitter account to make the announcement and kind of poking fun that Chucky can't keep him down. He found a way in. He's going to be back for season two. But according to the exclusive from Entertainment Weekly, Devin Sawa is going to be black is going to be back as a new character. So the instant thing I thought from, of course, just reading briefly before, reading the headline before reading the article is that oh he's gonna be some flashbacks but no it's not seeming like it's gonna be that it seems like it's gonna be a new character altogether so are they going in a triplet route where they have a third brother that's going to be revealed and maybe that was a secret that's now going to be factored into the narrative now honestly if it came off like that you know i'm gonna say of course that i think at that point it'd be obvious that this wasn't planned because i think there was an intent to have uh devin sawa involved in the first season the decision of course came down to having both of his iterations killed that's just what it was but now because i guess he was so good in the first season you want to bring him back for a third one i'm not saying it can't come off well on screen or bring him back for a second one, I meant to say. I'm not saying it can't come off well on screen. And Devin Sawa is, of course, a, a great actor. It's just that, what is it that you've cooked up? If it's a triplet thing where it's a long lost brother, that one might be a little bit more of a eye rolling thing for me. But again, it could come off very, very well on screen. I'm hoping more along the lines of him portraying maybe a doll iteration of himself in which maybe there's something that goes on with voodoo and they are getting the souls of maybe dead individuals put into some of these dolls out there i don't know or you could do something where do you have a devin saba playing someone who doesn't speak and he's also incredibly disfigured or just someone who again just doesn't have a lot of lines so that that way at least if it's devin sawa in the role you won't be too like hey wasn't he just in the first season because i know people already pointed out the father in the first season lexi's father i believe he was in cult of chucky as the doctor tanika so then of course you have this mike flanagan thing going on i guess you could say but the thing is these are all these these are all supposed to be intertwined with each other they're not standing alone as their own miniseries or anything like that so when you bring the same actors back and they're playing different roles you know in this type of scenario it might be a little bit more difficult for some people to digest because then you can have the argument okay well why didn't you just keep their other characters alive you clearly enjoy working with them clearly something happened i guess where they made the decision to of course bring Devin back but i'm hoping that it's more along something of not related to him having another brother but mostly a character that either doesn't have a lot of words or a character that is horribly disfigured and something else goes on that doesn't allow them to talk or just something else that's very brief for the second season that regards a small arc tied to one of our other main characters and this new character from Devin isn't really that important so that way his his presence doesn't cause a lot of unnecessary confusion I guess you could say because of the fact that again if you have just blatantly killed him and now he's back for like a long period of time playing a new character has no connections to the other two characters that just died it's like what the hell what like what's going on <laughs> i think that's what would be the consensus for a lot of people so if he is back because you can bring actors back it just depends on how it's being done if he's being brought back in a way that doesn't have him using a lot of words and doesn't have him like in the center of the narrative and it's mostly a character who is reserved they're withdrawn there might be some type of interest in them amongst the other people involved in the season maybe there's an arc that's established with a character he's playing that has nothing to do with the wheelers or anything like that you don't really see too much of him you don't see any pictures of him you barely even see his face it could be something again where they don't speak uh and it's just all sh a character it could be done in a way that's keeping him shrouded 
to at least acknowledge that hey we all know that this is Devin Sawa but you're not making it so blatantly blunt and obvious that the same actor who just died not too long ago is here once again as if nothing happened playing a different character you know again since it's not supposed to be set outside of the same universe or outside of the same um uh, narrative like with the mike flanagan miniseries and how he likes to use some of the same creative teams and same actors doing it like this in a in this type of scenario i think will be received very poorly depending on how you do it but we'll see what happens because Devin Sawa, again, he is back. It was announced. It's confirmed. No idea how he'll end up being factored into the narrative. Could they actually pull something where they say, well, no, we saw their graves. I really do think that there's going to be something that happens that relies to that ties into a a soul of one of those one of those wheeler twin brothers being used but then again they're supposed to say it's a new character maybe they give him a new name in the in the body of a doll he's a part of the chucky army and that's why it's considered a new character because of the fact that he's not going to be called who he used to be chucky or tiffany are going to name him something else as a part of this doll army that they have put together to take over america so we'll see what they do we'll see how devin sawa ends up being involved since he is back we'll see how that relates to the other survivors since they are going to be back of course because again i'm just thinking about a lot of different ways that this could go wrong with him being in scenes with jake and devin and lexi but we they just saw him die just saw him at his grave even though it's not the same character and, you know, I guess you could suspend your disbelief, but it's just the fact that if he's so heavily involved this time around, it's going to be a little bit more harder to digest, knowing that this is a narrative that's supposed to be so connected like this. So it's going to be like, OK, well, why is he playing somebody different? Didn't he just die two times? And is he going to die a third time? So it's all going to be very interesting. They definitely have me interested to see what they do with someone who died twice now being brought back for a second season. So we'll see how that works. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, so you can never miss a video. In in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video